have your leadership skills developed? Um, I suppose just through doing a lot of workshops in general. And um, I always, I always find I grab their, grab their attention quite a lot actually. Yeah. It's like, I think of my knowledge is built so much on how to do it, and the fact that I've got such a big passion for it, they, they just listen to me. Like they understand that I want to be here doing it, so they just listen. And at the end of the day, they find out that it's actually really enjoyable and they like it. The thing that I love about doing workshops is when I'm when I'm not in a workshop, I sort of when you see all these little tags, you're like, oh, it's just a little toy. But when you actually get into there doing the workshop and you teach them, it's like they've got to start somewhere. Like you know that they, that's where they've got to start, and then you you can you can see potential so easily. I think the project worked really well. We had six kids. We had six kids. Um, they were all pretty interested. They. Definitely, they progressed throughout the session, and definitely, they made a lot of good work. They looked like they wanted to be there, they were listening. And what was, um, what would you say is the, like, the biggest success of the project? They were so interested that they wanted to come back and do more, and do another workshop, and that was four of them, so that's quite a big difference, only two of them didn't want to come back. And they, you could tell they already progressed, and just by seeing them again, I knew that they'd gone away and like already thought about graffiti. Like they'd already done like research and they they turn up with sketches, which was good to see. Can you tell us what was the hardest thing? What was the biggest challenge? There were two little kids that that wasn't they weren't really paying attention much, and um, I don't know. Maybe graffiti is not for everyone, so that's why they didn't pay attention. But, yeah, I think I handled with them okay. They did get stuck into it, they did do it. And the other four did it as well, and the other four came back, but two of them didn't, that's alright. Um, working with other people. I love it. I, I, I love teaching the little kids. Like, to think that I was once in that position, it sort of just toggles your memory, like, I was once there, and now I'm doing the teaching. It's just, I don't know, it seems so surreal, really. So you received some feedback from the teacher, the Year 7 teacher, saying she loved it and she wants uh, us lot to go back. Um, you also got feedback from your youth leader. Um, and all of them say, like, it's really good. But how, what would you say about that you learned from that kind of feedback? Um, I think that feedback alone just made, made me a better artist, really sort of push sort of pushed me to like it wasn't just a one off workshop that I wanted to do, like it pushed me to want to do more. And like the fact that they asked me to come back was like, yeah, i like any day I'll go back and I'll teach anyone. Like they don't even have to be younger. Even if they're older they have never seen graffiti before. I'll teach them. Is there anything you do differently? Anything you do to like make the project improve it next time? Um personally I would Think about more of like the availability. So I know it's quite hard, but maybe some if we if I could like get a wall that we could primer after we finish with it, it'd be a lot nicer to work on a wall because then it's like the true spirit of graffiti.